Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Dominic Mysterio, La Famia. Uh, I would pronounce the whole thing, but I would totally uh, butcher it. My Spanish is terrible, so apologies. Um, let's take a look and see here. He's a modern era acrobat, defensive. He's got the raw link, the modern era link, and he has the one gear, the standard one. He is a trainer at 17k. He's going to have a 50% increased chance for yellow gems on the initial gem board. And then matching yellow gems charges moves of that color by two or more move points. Uh, right off the bat, I just want to mention that this one is a pretty, in its current form, is pretty disappointing to me for a chase card. With where the meta is at and stuff, and um, how I feel this one fits in. Um, I think it's probably the worst chase we've had in at least a year compared to the, the current meta. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Um, that's just my opinion, though. So remember that. Uh, we're going to have double fury on him throughout the whole uh, preview. And I'm not going to be using a skill plate as um, I don't particularly uh, love any, any of the options. Um, other than like cheap shot, that kind of thing. And a lot of people don't have that one. So, um, of note, not quite maxed blue move damage metal, 106%, uh, tier 12 on this one. The other ones are just there really for the bonuses. Uh, so nothing too crazy there. Like I said, no skill plate. There'll be a couple options up, um, on all of the different builds. And I'm only going to have three builds, uh, pretty straightforward really for Dominic um, with the three builds we're going to start off this one I think probably would have the most potential assuming that a reverse honky tonk man plate ever gets made basically if there's ever a skill plate that gets break three blue get three green MP uh, then I think this moveset would be fantastic as is in in the current meta and the way the game plays uh, it's just not going to be competitive really uh, but let's take a look at it. Uh, features the 619 3MP green. Deal uh, 44k damage and choose a 2x2 area to swap into blue gems. Uh, 2MP blue buckle hurricane rana. Deal 65k damage plus 32,000 bonus damage for every heal gem. That's 2MP. And then the Russian leg sweep. 1MP. Deal 32k damage and make 12 random gems. The heal gems of strength 32,425. So do you check a bunch of heal gems, hit the Buckle Hurricane Rana, uh, dial up the 619, fill up the Buckle Hurricane Rana again, and hit it again. Um, sadly, unless you can make a 5 match, uh, which is very board dependent, you can't get back and get this out again, uh, and things like that. Um, Entourage, we're going to start with Breeze uh, for 2 green MP to start. I don't have any tour perks while I'm recording this. In Feud, you would need an MP trainer in in breeze so this is pretty much the feud build although um this buckle hurricane rana would start charged uh turn one in feud and you'd get a three additional um heal gems the downside to this being heal gems is um fury doesn't affect it so uh keep that in mind you could probably uh just as easily run this with armor takedown vitality uh fury just helps you kick out a little bit more um, one, two, three kid does give a little bit of damage on the heal gems. So they do 15% more and there's one additional heal gem. I don't believe, um, there's a heal gem, uh, trainer that generates, uh, and does damage. So, or even just does damage. I think one, two, three kid is it. So uh, let's give this a look, see, and see what it is like. Of course, it wouldn't be a Merrick's preview if I didn't crash. That's funny. <laughs> of course, I could edit that out, but you know, at this point, you guys know I'm not going to do that. Do, 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 do. We're going to be going against Orton, Striker. Mainly because black TP is my lowest. <laughs> no other good reason than that. All right. So again, I do not have any tour perks um, at the time I'm recording this. Uh, you could use cheap shot. 
could use two words for you. Um, blue bomber off the skill plate, prize picker, the showstopper plate. Um, I believe that's uh, break blue, turn red into green. So, like I said, normally um, in feud with this setup, uh, this move would be dialed up and ready to go, but for right now, it's not. On the plus side, uh, we can make a five match. Um, so if we don't cascade too much, we can get a pretty decent um, turn one up. All things considered. So we got a lot of heal gems out. Let's hit this one and see how much we do. Uh, looks like 1.3 million, so not too bad. Now, sadly, <clears throat> um, we're not going to get a big pin. And this really um, is the problem here. The, we had best case scenario, um, got a decent size um, move out, but um, we're not going to be able to get back to the get back to the green, right? So we're gonna take a lot of his life, but we're going to have a hard time getting the pin, too, unless we get lucky. And that's why a reverse Honky Tonk Blues play would be so good. Um, then you could just make three matches and get the heal gems out and do a lot of damage uh, turn one, even if it was a lot of clicks. But in this current state, yeah, uh, I would actually rather level up um, the free card we just had in Hurricane going to take the green so we can fill that up because that is our our lone chance to move the pin bar but yeah i would i would level up hurricane before and will level up hurricane before i level level up dominic um unless he gets changed or that reverse honky tonk man play comes out just in the current meta i don't know where i would use him The heal gems are very nice. You can see we can heal most of our life up, but that does, you know, you run the risk of not kicking out at that point, uh, which I may have done by matching my heal gems because I wanted to heal, but that also, you can see what's going to happen uh, when someone hits a big pin on you and your board is full of heal gems. So imagine the infeud two plus million pins and trying to get out of that. It's not gonna probably be that great. Uh, I'll go ahead and run it once more for you guys. So it's something to note that you do have to watch out for the heal gems when you're trying to kick out. And we can make a five match again this time, although much more likely to cascade. Let's see what happens. Nope, we're good again. And what do we have? No green match. So let's just take a swipey swipe. Green or blue would have been preferred, but we didn't have either. On the plus side, we have a row break that can catch at least one green, which is really going to help us out a lot. All right. Because next turn... Oh, and we got a Cascade, too. That was pretty big. So that's turn one. You know, we did a little damage. We have some heal gems on the board, but the pins are never going to be very big this way. So it doesn't really matter. And this will probably illustrate the issue you can run into... Um, if we get him his life all the way drained, which I don't know how likely that is. Although, again, very kind board. Um, 
We have a green three match set up, which is perfect. So we're going to take this five here. Like so. And we are going to swipe. You know, I'm the, the row break would be the smarter play um, because it's going to move the board more. So we're going to row break this because we need to move the gem board. Get the last of these heal gems out. So literally almost the entire board. I don't know if this is enough to drain all of his life. If it's not, um, and it's not, we might just end up okay. Just barely. Unless I cascade. Don't do it. So you can see, I mean, that there's a lot going right in our favor to barely win on turn two with a lot of clicks. Um, so there's that, right? And that's my favorite moveset. Um, in the sense that it has the most potential, because I think it more likely they make a skill plate that works in reverse of Honky Tonk Blues um, than anything else. So, again, I would much rather uh, level up Hurricane personally. Let's take a look at the next moveset. And this moveset, you're going to pin a lot. Bring the finisher in. Every turn, you're going to pin. And then both of the red moves. Tilt to Whirl Arm Drag. And the Tornado DDT. Both 5 MP. Nice low charges. So this one uh, would have a lot more potential if this move, instead of a 3x3 three three in random, was a choose 2x3. This was a choose two by three area, uh, then we'd be talking. Uh, as it is, um, you're not going to do anything until turn two, and then you're likely not going to get a pin big enough to keep anyone down. Um, so then you're basically looking at turn four. Um, essentially, then you'll hit here. Uh, diving crossbody, 10 MP finisher, deal 132k damage, and choose a four by six area to swap into red gems. Tornado DDT. 5 MP red, deal 48k damage, and choose 4 columns to make into reinforced gems. And the tilt to world arm drag, 5 MP, deal 42k damage, and swap a 3x3 three three random area into blue gems. Entourage for this one, we're going to run with Butch for 4 red MP to start. Um, even with no perks, that'll get us started right away. That is the really nice thing about this moveset, is they are very low charge. Again, a choose 2x3 um, would make this a much more viable set. Um... And that, like, really should happen. I mean, it definitely still wouldn't be overpowered right, at all, especially for a chase. Um, we're going to go with red uh, gem damage. So we're going to use Taker. You could use Roman. Um, we'll use Taker here. Santa Hogan for flat gem, gem damage to both colors, both red and blue, that'll help us. Um, so that's why we're going to go with Santa Hogan. It's hiding around here somewhere. And then uh, Typhoon for red gem damage percentage. Uh, Tech Stacy would be better with the flat, but... We're going to use Typhoon. Okay. So yeah, if this was a lower charge and you could get it done... Um, or start it on turn one, then you'd probably win the match on turn two. That would be great. So you definitely want to hold this back because this is all random here, this 3x3. Three three, and you want as big a finisher as possible. So hopefully keep them down. So unless you're super duper lucky, you're cascading um, a three match and pinning every time on turn one. You'll probably pin 90% of the time on turn one, maybe more. So turn two is uh, typically when you're going to go off, quote unquote. And we're going to choose four reinforced columns. You could also use Hall of Fame Yoko. Um, at the other coach as well. 
If he's leveled up, I think he's 50% reinforced. That would be uh, better than Typhoon. And we are going to make a lot of red here. So you can see, this will hit pretty hard. One point two five million, not bad, but in feud, um, no one's gonna stay down, and in fact, it's very likely Orton will kick out here. Oh, no, just just made it. Um, so that's on turn two when you hit for that mm, not huge damage. Then you would throw your three by three out again, very likely pin, and not be big enough to pin them again on turn three. So you're looking at turn four in feud mostly with that build. Um, it really, uh, the red move needs to go to a, choose a two by three area. Uh, then we're talking a little bit more. Um, so there's that. Okay. Um, last move set. And, um, this is going to have what is his best move in my opinion, but it doesn't necessarily flow or fit super well anywhere. Um, and of course there's the, you'll see the, the downside to uh, doing anything with this is you got to get pinned, which means you got to take damage. So typically in feud, that means you're taking a lot of damage. Uh, a few different ways you could set this up, but I'm going to leave the finisher in and the three by three. So it's the reversal six MP blue. This is the five star move kick out and deal 392,000 damage and gain 526,000 health. Entourage, we're obviously going to keep the red because we're going to start out and load that. And then we're going to make one swap to get the kick out a little bit higher. Uh, keep in mind that we still need to get a pin. Um, so that's going to make things somewhat difficult. Uh, you could use Asuka for a bigger finisher, but then it doesn't buff the, buff the reversal. Um, and you could go move damage people here, but he's also choosing a huge area into red, so... And you need to get a pin. So six of this, half a dozen of the other. Um, you could use double takedown. I did test it with double takedown. The reversal was doing about 1.3 million uh, with double takedown in a tier four max metal. Uh, 1.3 million is a nice chunk, but you still need to get a pin. And that was using all move damage trainers, Gooker um, and Honky Tonk Man Hall of Fame. Simply didn't get it done. So basically all we're doing here is hoping to get pinned um, as much as possible. Which won't be a problem in feud. You're going to hit this and then your opponent is likely going to pin you. And you're going to be able to kick out of that pin, do some damage. And then hit your finisher, which is not going to do as much damage because we don't have the reinforced gems. Um, so not quite as big. And again, um, we almost have this. So if this wouldn't have loaded, I would probably swipe the red gems uh, to get it loaded. But since it is, um, actually, nah, I would hit this every time. No problem filling it up. So just hit it every time. That gets us the biggest area. So if we're if you're really lucky, you could keep somebody down, but not in feud. This is you're gonna see it. Just 900k in feud, you're not gonna keep anyone down with that kick out buff. Very unlikely we're even gonna keep Orton out down. Yeah. Come on. Well, at least his finisher's full. We'll get to use the kick out. Uh, also, it is going to say the health uh, for the kick out goes up with the move damage trainer. It does not. So that's a visual glitch. And it doesn't show damage being applied to the reversal, uh, which is a visual glitch there. You can see with the metal, we're almost a million nine hundred thirty-two thousand. is what we're at. We're only going to gain, like, I think it was the 500,000 health. Should see right here on the kick out if it shows it, maybe. No, it doesn't. And you can see, again, um, we've done some damage, but this is going to pin. And almost for sure not big enough to keep him down. A whopping 300,000. Then we're back to that finisher one more time. So competitively, I mean, like, 
it, it would it be a slight nuisance with the kick out and being able to reload? Sure. Are you going to be able to use them competitively with the kick out? No. Um, I don't really see a spot where competitively that will be worthwhile, as it will just take too long. Honestly, this is probably... I can't remember a time I've been uh, less interested in getting the chase card. I, I'll, I'll do all the events simply because I need to level my guys. Um, and Dominic will be good for any Dominic requirements, but unless he gets changed, um, there's just not a lot to love here. He doesn't do anything well enough, uniquely enough, that I need him for it. And I don't think very many people will. Like I said, uh, as far as healing goes, I'd rather level the free card from last month in the Hurricane and use his Leech Gems. I think he's faster and better than this month's chase card so it's pretty disappointing um, that's my thoughts overall right now I uh, try to be very clear uh, very blunt uh, with you guys um, it's just not just not that exciting in the in its current state I think the worst chase card we've had in, in especially for the current meta um, in probably like a year at least so let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.